Hi everyone and welcome to another Super Deluxe Edition unboxing video. Today we're going to take a look at Elton John Jewel Box. This is the new rarity set that delves deep into Elton John's archive and it's available as this Deluxe 8 CD box set version and then there's various vinyl editions as well which we're going to look at a little bit later. First thing to say about this is I really like the design. A few people have questioned this design. Well, I think it's fabulous and it, the green looks really good, the purple. So much more interesting than just a picture of Elton John on the front. So I think they've done a grand job with this. But also it's massive. This is a really, really big box set. By way of comparison, let's, let's look at the 2014 Super Deluxe Edition of Goodbye Yellow Brick Road and see how that compares. So this is uh, the 2014 reissue of Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. And as you can see, I mean, it's dinky by comparison. Given that this is Elton John's best-selling album, I was amazed when they put out such a small edition of it. Yeah, so it's interesting to compare. They've really stepped it up, Universal, in terms of what they're willing to do for Elton. What does this consist of? Well, this is in a slip case, and the, the, in, the book comes out the inside, and this is the meat of the offering. This contains everything. It contains the music, the notes, the disc. That kind of lays it out for you, that page there. Deluxe Edition, it starts off with two CDs of deep cuts. Then it moves on to three CDs of rarities. Now these are the early demos. After that we get a couple of discs of B-sides. This is kind of the post-74, 75 era. And then at the end, single disc, which is And This Is Me. And these are songs which are referenced in Elton's recent autobiography. So of course inside the book it's got a different front cover so it's got the, the E as we can see there and that motif is used kind of throughout. So at the beginning there's some notes from Elton and from Bernie Taupin and then it's, Elton's obviously been really involved in this because this whole section here of deep cuts he goes through track by track talks about each one and gives you some annotation and all this artwork's fabulous. It's very interesting beginnings to this box set. Obviously this is spanning quite a long time, the uh, deep cuts. So that's the first section there. These are credits here, sort of who played on what, who wrote what. So that first section has green and the next section is red and these are the rarities. So these rarities are 65 tracks in total across three CDs. I mean, this whole set's got about 148 tracks in total. But these are all unreleased demos from the early days that sort of predate Elson's fame era. So it's a pretty spectacular amount of content. And all this, all this kind of stuff's brilliant. Isn't it? All, the, uh, all the sort of rare photos. There's some good notes here written by Daryl Easley as well. And again, there's the uh, details, the credits, they call it the details. So the next section in this book moves on to B-sides. So these have obviously all been out before, but only on vinyl, on uh, the flip side of whatever the single was. I mean, the odd one might have ended up on a CD, but I think mainly these are all new to CD, these B-sides. They start at 1976, and if you're wondering why there aren't earlier ones, because they've been out before. There was a 1992 compilation called Rare Masters, which kind of brought all that early B-side material together. So they've obviously decided not to repeat that. I mean, this is eight CDs as it is, don't forget. So 76 to 84 is the period here. And as I say, there's two discs worth of B-sides. Again, credits at the back. So this last section, which is called And This Is Me in sort of Mike Yarwood style, it's a 16 track CD and it's not hits or anything, but it is songs which are referenced in the film or in the book. So again, we get a kind of track by track annotation from Elton himself. It's roughly about 100 pages of uh, content, you know, photos, notes, annotations, track by track with Elton. It's pretty significant because this is quite big. It's, it's a very leisurely, very enjoyable read. You're not straining to kind of look at the content. 
the back section here, this is where it turns into quite thick folios. And you've basically got the eight discs here at the back. So that's the first of the deep cuts, second of the deep cuts. These are the rarities. Two discs of B-sides. And then that final disc at the end called And This Is Me. There's the uh, hype sticker, in case you're wondering. So there's 60 previously unreleased tracks on this set. You know, that's more than a third of the tracks here have never been issued before, so that's pretty impressive. So this is about £90, which I think is perfectly good value for what's on offer. Not only is there a lot of good audio content, but the presentation is top-notch. One thing I didn't point out was that uh, you do get this purple ribbon, which is quite a nice touch. A bit of luxury for the book that kind of thing that makes the difference I think. Colour goes with the, uh, the purple from the front there. So there's a lot of reading, a lot of listening and I think you know for £90, £92, something like that, I think it represents really good value. And I'm really glad Elton's done this because I'm hoping that it will spur other people on to do similar sets because big artists in particular tend to just rest on their laurels to a certain extent with reissues and just do the obvious stuff. So it's quite nice that he's tackled all the uh, unreleased demos. Now, if you're wondering if this is available on vinyl, the answer is yes. Although there are some omissions, there's basically a series of vinyl sets that cover elements of all aspects of this box set. So we're gonna have a look at those now. So with the vinyl, there's a four LP set that covers the deep cuts. So two CDs in the CD box but four LPs for vinyl. And there's a three LP set, which covers some, but not all of those demos and adds a few B-sides at the end. And then there's a two LP set, which includes all the tracks on the And This Is Me compilation at the end. So in total, that's nine LPs. And those nine LPs offer 87 tracks in total out of 148 from the CD box. So it's the B-sides and the rarities where it's kind of edited and you don't get everything, but you do get all the deep cuts and you do get that disc at the end in its entirety. So those three vinyl sets are available separately. If you're wondering what we're looking at here right now, there is a special box set version, which is only available via Elton's shop, you know, universal D to C channels, etc. that brings all the vinyl together into one box set. So it's quite a nice thing to do. Uh, it's not cheap, but um, it's pretty impressive looking at this box set. So this box is enormous because it's an oversized box. So by way of comparison, there's a vinyl record for you. So it's you know clearly much bigger than a, just a normal 12 by 12 inch vinyl record. That does mean this might be a challenge to store because it's gonna be a lot bigger than your average Kallax or whatever you use to store your vinyl records. So that's probably worth bearing in mind. But you can see the design is the same as the uh, CD box. And uh, yeah, it's massive. So let's take the lid off and have a look. Same kind of design that we saw on the CD box set for the inside of the lid of the box. So this is a foam kind of insert here. So this is the four um, LP set. As you can see, I haven't opened this yet. These are the deep cuts, 31 tracks, same as the two CDs in the box set. This is done like a, a book style folder there. So this presentation allows you to have all the track by track from Elton. It's quite unusual that they haven't seen a package like this before. If you look at the way it's glued in at the bottom there, you can see it's two gatefold packages, but they're kind of glued into the outer binding. So this is the left panel of the first gatefold. These are black vinyl. And then the second record in that first gatefold is here. Again, black vinyl. So the gatefolds become the pages of the book, really. That's how they've uh, done it. So that's what you're looking at there is the front of the second two record set. You know, it's like, it's like glued into the book. Quite a good way of doing it, actually. I quite like it. 
you can buy this separately. No one's saying you have to buy a big nine LP box set if you just want the deep cuts. So this is a three LP set. This is the rarities and B sides. So yes, yeah, so this is a bit more like what you'd expect from a vinyl record. It is a six panel fold out affair. There's Daryl's notes there. And if you're wondering how many of the B sides and the demos are on here, uh, the 65 demos on the CD box and 35 of them make the cut on vinyl, um, which isn't too bad. But as far as the B-sides are concerned, you, you, you get hardly any. You get five B-sides here. And on the CD box, set, there's two discs of B-sides. You get 36. So it's the B-sides that get the biggest chop. I mean, in some ways, it's quite surprising they've done the 4LP for the deep cuts, but they haven't covered all the demos. I mean, I suppose there's just so many of them. They've just picked what they consider to be the best ones, I guess. These do come with download codes as well, by the way, the vinyl records. So that's the rarities and B-sides. And then the final 2LP set is, and this is me, this is the one where it's tracks that he, he talks about in the book or in the film. Actually, I think it's mainly to do with the book. It says a 16 track celebration of the songs mentioned in the critically acclaimed autobiography, Me. So we've had a folder with four records, we've had a six panel gatefold with three records, and this is a good old fashioned four panel gatefold with two records in it. There's no coloured vinyl version of this available anywhere. I mean, you could argue that this compilation at the end is a slight vanity element to the box set. You know, he's already had four LPs or two CDs of deep cuts. You know, do you need this extra bit at the end? Could he have focused a bit more, especially on the vinyl side, on the B sides and some more of those demos? So that's up for debate. But it's, you know, it's a lovely set of records and particularly in this box set when they're all together. So this is what the back of the box looks with nothing in it. It's a finger hole there to get everything in and out. So the two LP and this is me goes at the bottom followed by the three LP, rarities and B-sides. Yeah, so I'm just trying to work out how to get this in. Basically, this has got a bit of a, a groove at the bottom there. So when you put the bottom one in, it kind of slides underneath a little bit to drop, drops into place. Same with this, this is the three LP set. It kind of, it kind of tucks under that little ledge and then sits like that. And then the big fat kind of heavy 4LP set goes on top like that. So it's a neat fit in the end once everything gets in. Obviously this is quite heavy, 9LPs. The lid goes back on and there we have it. So that is the vinyl celebration of Jewel Box. 9LPs, 87 tracks. And the CD box is 8 CDs and 148 tracks. So there's the vinyl and the CD box together. So I hope you've enjoyed this look at Elton John's Jewel Box. Keep holding the music in your hands. And if you have enjoyed the video, why not subscribe to the Super Deluxe Edition YouTube channel for more great physical music unboxed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.